On their website today, Swinton Insurance was still promoting their Norwich call centre as a fun and exciting place to work and build a career. That feel-good vibe wasn't quite so evident at the call centre this afternoon. Blinds pulled down and no one from the company available to speak to us and a temporary security guard lurking to greet us as we came to film the outside of the building. It's after the Swinton Group announced what they call a business reshape, meaning 180 jobs at this call centre and hundreds more at branches around the country are at risk. But why do they say they're needing to do it? If you think of the rise of price comparison websites, these are companies which have put millions and millions of pounds into developing apps so that you can buy your policy at the touch of a button. Swinton say that last year 90% of their customers bought online or over the phone. And so when you're buying remotely and dealing with customers remotely like that, it doesn't matter so much where your call centre is. So when they decided to invest £45 million in one of their centres, they chose their head office in Manchester. No one from the company was available to comment today with just a written statement made available to the media. In it, their chief executive says they're reshaping their distribution model to meet the changing needs of their customers and that it's vital they remain competitive in the challenging insurance market. That'll be little comfort to these staff if the plans go through to close this call centre, one of four they have around the country. In total, some 900 jobs could be going by the end of the year as they review 84 of their branches. Swinton haven't disclosed the locations of the branches that are going to close. They say it's still up for review and they'll be making that decision based on the location and also how often it's used by customers. Uh, we have about five or six branches across Norfolk and so given that they're making the decision based on geography, it's hard to imagine that at least one of them won't be affected. We've been speaking to staff coming out of the building today and understandably no one really that keen to talk with the news they're having to process over the last 24 hours. The company says that the staff affected by these changes will go through a consultation period now and they'll try to redeploy as many as possible to other parts of the business. Neil Perry, Mustard TV, Norwich.